Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create amazing drone like videos in just few simple steps. So let's dive right in. The tool we're going to use today is Google Earth Studio. And this is the new animation tool for Google Earth satellite and 3D imagery. Head over to Google Earth Studio and then click on Try Earth Studio. After logging in, you'll end up in this page and from here you can start a blank project from the scratch or you can use this quick start template to get you started. If you are new to this, I would highly recommend quick start and use the pre-made templates. So just click on it and then in here you get few different templates. The first one is the zoom to where the camera will zoom into the target. After that you have the orbit, point to point, spiral and then we have one more and that is my favorite. It's called fly to and orbit. So I'll just select this and then click on start in here enter your point of interest i'll just go with statue of liberty and then click on this green arrow after that you get few different settings the first one we have the end altitude this is the place where the camera will stop zooming in you can move it ahead or make it closer so if i put on this level the camera will zoom in up to this level change the orbit if you want you can make the radius of the orbit bigger or closer then you have the target altitude but make sure don't crank this up all the way because if you push it then you'll just face the sky so decrease the altitude there you go and then you can change the approach angle if you want i'll just leave this as it is and then click on this green arrow in here select the duration of the video clip that you want to generate i'll just go with 30 seconds and then click here all right so this is your editing page and it's very similar to other video editors at the top you'll find the play and pause button and here is your timeline Click on play and you will notice this tracker moving along with the timeline. On the right side you get the preview of the video and on the left side you can see the flight path as well. To change these layouts, head over to the right and click here and then you can change the layout if you want. But I would suggest go with the second layout because here you can see the flight path as well. So this is your camera and it's moving along with the target. You can zoom in from here. Alright, so as you can see the circle, the camera is moving along with it. Notice this red dot in the middle. This is where the camera is pointed. So if you move across with it, as you can see here, the camera is following it as well. And if you want to change this circle, you can do that too. Just click on these white dots. Just click and drag it over. You can zoom out if you want and make the circle even bigger. Alright, so now let's click on play. Alright, there you go. Now the camera is following the circle that we made. So if you want the camera to face somewhere else, just click this icon and then drag it over. Now, if you look at the timeline, you'll see there are a few dots here. So these white dots are the keyframes and it represents the longitude, latitude and altitude. So for example, in the starting point, the dots are here. So that means the camera will start with these settings. So the camera will start at this altitude. And look what happens when I move the tracker. Yeah, so until this point, the camera goes from 20,000 meters to 210 meters. Alright, so if you move ahead, you can see everything changes. Now the latitude and the longitude changes cause the camera is rotating and it's maintaining the same altitude. Adding these keyframes is very simple. Just click and drag your tracker. And let's say I want to change the altitude here. So I'll just head over to the left and change the altitude that I want. And you can see the keyframes are automatically added. So now if I click on play, this is what happens. Since I increased the altitude, the camera is moving up again and then the camera will zoom in again because the altitude is much more less here all right so if you want to add attributes you can do that too just click here and now you can find some other settings for example you can change the field of view you can change the time of day as well show clouds ocean overlays and show 3d buildings as well so let's say i want to change the time of the day so all i have to do is just click here and then click on done now on the left side if you go down you'll see the time here all right so head back to the beginning Change the time if you want and to add the keyframe just click here. Alright so now the keyframe has been added. So let's move ahead a little bit and then change the timing. Alright so now if we play back this is what it looks like.
Let's see how it started at night and now it has turned into day. Right, so if you want to delete anything you want, just select this and then press delete. So experiment with these parameters and find the best settings for you. Once you're done with all the settings, head over to the top right and then click on render. And from here, you can download the videos. The way it works is that Google Earth will send an email along with your video. Give it a name, select the dimensions and then the position of the watermark. You'll see the Google Earth watermark will be present. So you can adjust it from here. And then you can select the map style. I've selected clean, but if you click on here, you get these different options. If you click on exploration, then you'll see all this point of interest will be shown on the video as well. Once you're done with everything, just click on submit and Google Earth will send you an email. All right, so after the render, the video will be available like this. And all you have to do, just click on download and save it to your computer. So we created the video using this pre-made template. So now if you want to make a video from the scratch, you can do that too. Just head over to the left and click on this file and then click on blank project. Give it a name. And the unique part is that you can not only make videos from Earth, but also from Moon and Mars as well. After that, select your dimensions and the duration. Just click here and change it to time code. Now you can see the time. Select the frame rates and then click on start. Alright, so now as you can see, the timeline is empty because we have to start everything from the scratch. Select the tracker and drag it all the way to the left. And then from here, you can select the starting position. Alright, so select the altitude that you want the camera to start. I'll just go with 20,000 meters. And then click here to add the keyframe. Now, the starting position of the camera will be this. Change the camera rotation if you want. Alright, so after that, click the tracker and move it up ahead. And then in here, I want to change the altitude. So I'll just click here. Alright, so now if you play the video, it looks like this. Alright, so if you want to search for any particular point of interest, you can do that too. Just head over to the top left and then click on this icon. And then you can search your location. Alright, so I want the camera to start at 20,000 meters. And then add the keyframes. Move your tracker. And then I'll change altitude. Alright, so as soon as I added these keyframes, you can see the flight path has been added. But now if you click on play, it looks like this. Alright, you can rotate the camera as well. Alright, so now your video looks like this. Alright, so experiment with the settings and make your own unique aerial video. Alright, so that's about it for today. That was a quick tutorial on how you can make these crazy aerial drone-like videos in just few simple steps. I hope you find this video helpful and if you did, make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon. I'll see you guys in the next video.